I'm just about to reveal three different ways that you can make money using Rose.com and OpenAI in 2023 and beyond. So let's get started. Now, I'm fairly confident you guys are familiar with OpenAI by now. It's insanely popular and it's currently estimated at around $29 billion in value. So this is the perfect time to start taking advantage of its capabilities. So here's the thing I want you to do next. If you guys connect to Rose.com, you're going to notice this is a software that combines the functionality of Google Sheets and ChatGPT, meaning that you get to create your own spreadsheets here for all sorts of different purposes, but at the same time, you can make use of OpenAI. Not only that, but it's really easy to integrate, and I'm just about to walk you through the process. The first thing you want to do once you've connected to OpenAI and created an account is head over to the API section. Once you're here, you want to click on your profile and then view API keys. And this is how you get to connect ChatGPT and Rose.com in order to use the power of artificial intelligence in your spreadsheets. I'm also going to reveal three different ways that you can make use of that to make money online. For now, I just want you guys to copy your secret key. Moving on, you want to head back over to Rose.com and set up a free account. I'm not going to bore you with that process because it's really straightforward. But once you have successfully logged into your account, here's the next thing you want to do. You want to head over to Integrations, look for OpenAI and click on that. Up next, you want to click on Add Integration, paste in your API key and you are good to go. It took us less than a minute to connect the two and at this point, you can start taking advantage of artificial intelligence for your admin work and much more. The next thing I'm going to do right now is create a new spreadsheet. And what you're going to notice next is that the platform is pretty similar to Google Sheets, at least in terms of functionality. It looks a little bit cleaner. Now, if you've been working with Sheets, such as Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel or any other software, you probably have a decent understanding of how to use formulas such as the sum formula, where I could, for instance, calculate the sum of two different cells. That is not too difficult. Anyone can do it. But in a very similar manner, you can start using ChatGPT instead. All you need to do is type in OpenAI and then hit enter. That will open up this command right here, and it will also show you what kind of parameters you need to send. Let me show you a very clear example. Look at this. I could literally ask ChatGPT to give me the population of this country. Let's hit enter and let's see what happens. At this point, ChatGPT will start working, and here's the answer. As of July 2020, the population of the United States was approximately 331 million. Now, you do need to keep in mind that ChatGPT is not entirely up to date. It doesn't have the ability to browse the internet, but that's not going to be too much of an issue for us. Here's another example. Give me the bordering countries for the USA. All you need to do is hit enter, and there you have it. But now, as you can tell, it's cool to play around with it, but this is not necessarily that useful. So here's what I had in mind. I want this video to be a practical guide. Guide, so just stick with me because it's going to be worth it. The first thing you need to do to leverage OpenAI and Rose.com is sell items on Etsy. I know it doesn't make too much sense for now, but it will in just a second. Let's just say that we are selling printables, such as a printable calendar. I want this example to be as simple as possible. Well, if you want to stand out from the crowd and actually build a reputation as a seller, a great thing to do would be studying what other people are doing wrong so we can learn from their mistakes and improve the product. For instance, if we notice that for most of these bestsellers, people are complaining about a specific feature, we can try to improve that. Here's a clear example of that. I'm simply going to click on this product listing on Etsy, which is a printable calendar. And as you can spot, it's one of the bestsellers with over 95,000 sales. But not everyone has been entirely satisfied with the quality of this product. Every once in a while, you will get the occasional negative review. I mean, look at this one. Beautiful product, I love it, but the covers are pocket-sized. And then here's another one. As you can see, this user wasn't satisfied at all. And so guys, if there was a way that we can gather up all of this data, we could create a very similar product to this one, but improve those features that people are not satisfied with. However, doing this yourself manually is literally going to take months. I mean, we've got 9,000 different reviews here. So here's the first way you can make use of Rose.com in order to make money. Here's what I've done. I have simply copied some of the negative reviews I saw for this product. But instead of reading them and taking notes about the problems these guys are complaining about, all I did was just upload them onto Rose.com. As you can see right here, each and every single one of these sales is an individual complaint. And here's the next thing I've done. I simply asked OpenAI, what's the main problem with the product according to this review? Now, the first one of them is pretty easy to understand. This user was complaining about the fact that the covers were pocket-sized. And ChatGPT also acknowledged that. But this one is a little bit more difficult to follow. As you can tell, this user is very frustrated with their purchase. They are not satisfied at all. 
So what we want to do is narrow down the problem. See the specific feature that made them so angry. And this is where ChatGPT can help us. All you need to do is literally drag this down using the plus icon. And that is going to apply the same formula to all of the other cells. And it is basically going to summarize each and every single one of these reviews. For instance, in this case, the main problem with the product was that it was impossible to print out and the months and days didn't match up. I also threw in a positive review here just to see whether or not ChatGPT would notice that. And as you can see, the review does not mention any problems with the product at all. So don't worry about it. ChatGPT will actually understand the sentiment of that specific review and provide you with the correct answer. Here's another negative review. And once again, ChatGPT has done a great job summarizing it. Not only that, but this is a language model, meaning that there is very little coding needed and you can even ask it to make these prompts shorter. Let me do just that. Keep it short. Let's see whether or not ChatGPT can follow the instructions. Well guys, there you have it. The problem here was an error on dates in the important dates section and lack of additional features. Let's just apply that to all of the other entries as well. Take a look at this. No problem mentioned, inability to print out correctly. What about the first one? And so guys, let's just take a step back and look at this in perspective. This is literally going to give you a competitive advantage over everyone else. You can reverse engineer what they are doing right and what they are doing wrong so you can improve on their products and come up with an even better one. And instead of taking months to research the competition, it literally takes 10 minutes with the help of OpenAI and Rose.com. So you can keep a database for each and every single one of the products you're currently studying. And Etsy.com was one example. You can do this on Amazon, you can do this on eBay, it genuinely does not matter. Competitor research is still important in any field of activity and you've just found out about a shortcut that's gonna save a lot of your precious time. But let's move on to method number two. So in order to understand how this works, let's just imagine this scenario. Let's just say that you're providing search engine optimization services for for businesses. You're helping them get more exposure and rank up on the web whenever people search for them. For instance, let's just say that people are searching for a dentist in Minnesota, right? Well, if you perform that search, Google is going to display a bunch of results. But as you can tell, the businesses that don't really rank up are leaving a lot of money on the table. They are missing out by not being well optimized for search engines. That is something you can help them with. But here's where the problem lies. The only way you can reach out to these businesses is by sending them an email or perhaps sending them a message on social media, but the email would be a little bit more formal. So I would rather go for that. Now, as you can tell, these businesses are probably getting dozens or hundreds of emails on a daily basis. So most of them will not even open your email, let alone reply to it, let alone making a deal with you. That's why this is a numbers game. You don't just want to stick to one, two, ten emails, you want to send out hundreds. But that's almost impossible to do manually. One solution to that would be finding a template and sending that to everybody. But if you choose that approach, there's no personal touch to that email. You're just sending some general text that sounds too much like an ad and they won't be interested at all. You want to make that message a little bit more personal. You want to add something specific about your business so that you can show them you've done your homework. Let me break it down. This is one of the dentists that I found in Minnesota here. And as you can see, they have their mission clearly stated on their homepage. This is an important piece of information because it's something unique. It is something very relevant to them. So here's what I had in mind. Guys, what you can do is take a little bit of your time to find the contacts of hundreds or thousands of such businesses. You can use a new field in order to write down something relevant about that specific business to add a personal touch to the email. And then you can use ChatGPT to set up a custom email for your outreaching campaign. Look at this. My company helps businesses with SEO. Write an outreaching email to this dentist's cabinet. Mention something about their mission. I didn't even spell it correctly and he still did it. Let me just hit enter and as you can see, ChatGPT has started working on it. And there you have it. Now let me just open it in a new tab here. There you have it. And if you pay close attention to this text, you're gonna notice that OpenAI actually did reference their mission just as instructed. But it goes beyond that. Not only can Rose.com and OpenAI help you write hundreds of emails in just a few minutes, minutes but they can also help you with follow-up emails. Let's just say that this company is not returning your texts. Well, what you can do is ask OpenAI for a follow-up email in the next cell, and then another one, and then another one. And you can keep everything well-structured and organized within Rose.com. The possibilities here are endless. And last, but most certainly not least, what Rose.com can be used for is any other type of admin work or data entry jobs. 
Think about it this way. Instead of having to use all sorts of different difficult formulas and parameters, you only need to learn how to use this one command, which is ask OpenAI. And because ChatGPT is a language model, you can describe your requirement in a natural language without using any specific keywords or any specific parameters. There's no coding needed here. All you will ever need to learn is this line of text right here. And in case you find that difficult, well guys, Rose.com has put together a tutorial that will show you exactly how to do it. They also have a lot of different documentation that you can reference, and I'm gonna link that in the description. And if you follow their Twitter account, they are constantly posting updates. And just to give you guys a little bit more context as to how you can use GPT-3 for your admin work, you can use it to clean up company names, clean up addresses, classify functions from a job title, or even classify the sentiment in social media comments. You can use it to translate product reviews, summarize product reviews as we've just done, or even find the prices of Kindle books on Amazon. The only limitation here is your imagination. And so if you're ready to give this a try, I'm gonna leave a direct link down there in the description box. That's it for now and thanks for watching.